Okay, so yesterday didn't go to plan. Let's just say it was an off day. It was a bad day at the office, right? We got knocked out of the Europa League. It wasn't good. And after it, I was very, very upset with myself. I think I could have done so, so much better. It happened, you know. We're going to have to focus on the Premier League now. As you can see, we are in second place. We've got a massive chance to finish in second with 13 games left to go. We've got a lot of games coming up, I think, in April. So this this month here, March, is really quiet. There's two games, right? April. Look at it. It's absolutely... It's very busy with fixtures. So let's take advantage of having long gaps between games. Although we do have an FA Cup game coming up, we don't know who it's going to be yet. But to kick off this episode, let's play Burnley away from home. Burnley are playing with their usual 4-4-2 with Andre Gray up top. This is the formation I'm going with. A 3-5-2. This is what I should have done a while ago, I think. I haven't been scoring enough goals, and I score more with 3-5-2. Two strikers, Emre Moore and Penuranda. They will score goals together. Isaac's success has just come back from injury, so he's not ready just yet. But the team I've put up today against Burnley should be winning games. But I'm not going to say that anymore, because you saw what happened in the Europa League last episode. It was freaking embarrassing, man. It has been a good start for me so far. We've got another good through ball here. Pass that across for Emre Moore. Through for Penuranda. This is why the 3-5-2 can be very good. Across goal. It's been deflected. Got it back. Hits it first time. Oh my god. And Didi has absolutely smashed it. Here's Barnes now for Burnley. Plays it back here for Larson. Passing it well here. And I tell you what. They're looking pretty good. This isn't good. Here's our field now. Oh no. No. Ooh. Oh my god. That should have been a penalty. I don't think I even touched the ball. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. I've done it. I've done it again. Every freaking career mode. Oh, my God. Why do I do this to myself? Why? I've just literally gifted them a goal. Super stressed. Super stressed out right now. Come on. We're going forward again. Decore on the ball. Inside for Penuranda. Shoot. Oh, my God. What a tackle. What a tackle. And that is the end of the first half. Unbelievable. I need to have a very strong second half. We've started off well here. It's Kovalenko. Over here to Ndidi. Pass that through for Amrabat. Try and get around. That's a foul. Oh, if only it was in the box. We would have had yet another penalty. It's a yellow card, though, and a good free kick. Kovalenko is my best free kick taker, but I'm going to pass it. And hope I can get it on target. That hasn't worked, but here's Emery Moore now. It hasn't worked at all. Here's Penuranda, though. Oh, and he's, he's put it over. Wow, I should have had a shot from the free kick. I feel like the goal's coming though, guys. I am starting to pile the pressure on. We're having all the possession right now. Try and get Emre Moore in over the top. He's going to have to win the header. He has. Emrebat picks it up into Penuranda. Hits it first time. Oh my god, what a goal. What a goal from Penuranda. That is how you get back in a game with style. This is unbelievable. Emrebat does really well. Great pass. I thought, why not hit it first time? Look at the curve on that. Should have another chance here, maybe. Here's Emre Moore just before he goes off. Can you have an impact? You might be able to get a pass inside here. Come on, Kovalenko. Deflected Heaton. What a save. The subs have come on now, though. Are they going to make an instant impact from this corner? Montez. Yes! That time it's deflected and gone in. Montez will claim it. We've turned this game around. Come on, let's kill this game off. Let's make it three. We've got a big chance here. Robertson is through. Um, yeah, shoot. Oh, my God, it's gone in. <laughs> 3-1. We have turned it around this second half brilliantly. Really good play once again. It looks like uh, Burnley were pushing forward to get the equaliser. I was going to pass this, but no. And Heaton's got a touch on it again. He's been very unlucky today. Is that the end of the game? There it is, guys. We do get the three points in the end pretty comfortably. I thought Burnley were the better team in the first half, maybe. But in the second half, we completely blitzed them and we deserve the three points. Don't worry, guys. You're not going mad. I have just put on my headset. It's because I've got a really nasty headache. This just seems to help. Either way, this is making me a lot happier. We are now only one point behind Manchester United. Imagine the scenes if we could actually get into first place within, you know, the next 12 games or so. That would be absolutely amazing. But we are looking very good. Obviously, Crystal Palace still only two points behind us and Spurs four points behind us, and Liverpool five points. So it's still pretty tight up there in the top five, but now let's move on into our next game. And we are playing against Newcastle at home, guys. They were one of the stronger teams at the beginning of the season. At one point, I believe they were in first place. 
They have now stumbled down to 8th place. So clearly struggling a little bit since the start. Uh, gone back to 3-5-2 once again. This time success comes in. Musonda at Cam. And uh, also we've got Kennedy coming in up front. But more importantly, success is back. And hopefully he will bring us more success. Jesus, Matt. Got to stop doing that. And uh, get us a goal or two in this game. And we've started off well here with lots of possession. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Oh, my God. We just scored within the first few minutes. Get in there. Lovely bit of play. The passing between the front three was perfect. Success gets himself the assist. Musonda, I thought, I don't really want to play him out on the wings in a 3-5-2 because they, they tend to come back a little bit and defend. So Musonda at Cam is going to be brilliant. It's Coziello. It's a good pass into Kennedy. Through ball now for Pereira. What's he doing up here? Get across in. Success is there. Oh, what? How did he finish that? Did he just back heel that? Please tell me he just back heeled that. I need to look a little bit closer. I didn't see what happened. I, I still don't really understand how he has scored there. Let's have a closer look here. I think it's kind of just glitched. Well, actually, it's kind of his back heel, but look where the ball has ended up. That is absolutely stunning. Oh, ref, come on. That was my last chance before half time. We could have made it three. I was just about to pass it through for Visor, but what a first half. Brilliant performance. It's great having him back. We've got a corner early on in this second half. I'm going to turn with Coziello. Give it to JJ. Now to Musonda on the edge of the box. Can he finesse it? He can, but it's deflected to success. He almost got taken out there. Pass it back. Here's Lamos. Hit it. Oh my god, Lamos. He is... I mean, he doesn't even have good long shot stats, but he just somehow manages to get it on target most times. Well, Newcastle have definitely stepped it up in this second half. They're playing a lot better. They're... Uh, Probably having most of the possession right now. Here's Shelby. That's a good pass. Oh, I just knew it. I knew it from that attack. And that is a very good goal. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Not good. Not good. Oh, it's a pen. I've given away a penalty. Oh, no. JJ, mate. And it's only a yellow. Thank God. I thought that was a red. It probably should have been a red. I need to save this. I'm staying down the middle. I'm staying down the middle. Oh, I almost went down bottom right. I swear I almost did it. And that is... Back to square one, guys. It's now basically nil-nil again. Yes, that's a good ball here. Success. I mean, I could probably run past this guy, but I'm probably not going to try it. Just keep going. Actually, keep going. Finish it. No! No, that was his moment. That was genuinely his moment to be the hero of this game. And it's just wide. No. Ah, oh, absolutely gutting. What we saw today was the advantages and the disadvantages of the 3-5-2. Defensively, it leaves gaps every now and again. But going forward, it is fantastic. So um, I'll take it on the chin. It's a draw. Unfortunately, Man United, if they have won, they're going to be very pleased. So back into the FA Cup now. It has been confirmed. We've got West Brom away from home in the quarterfinals. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. I'm going to take a risk and simulate this game so we can continue in the Premier League in this episode. I might really regret this, but I'm really hoping we can pull it off. We do. We get a 2-0 win. Sapanara with a double. But now, guys, into our next game. We've got Spurs. And as you can see, they are four points behind us in fourth. We've dropped down to third. So this is absolutely huge. I absolutely have to win this game, especially after drawing against Newcastle. Now, I've gone back to the 4-2-3-1 formation because... I think I would concede quite a few against a very good Tottenham side with the 3-5-2. So hopefully we've got enough enough forward to get a few goals in this game because I think I'm going to need them. Oh god, we haven't started well. We have not started well. Oh, that was a little bit close. Now can we get running? It's Carl Walker. He's quick. Through for... Oh my god, we're through. We're through. No! Success! You had to score there. Let's go, Theo. Let's go. Use that pace. Look at him go. He's almost 80 rated now, by the way. So what a signing he's turned out to be. He's still going. I'm going to try and find a pass to Musonda. It's Pereira, actually. Into Coziello. Turn. Over to Corona. Finish it. Off the post. You are kidding me. No. How have we not scored? I've got to score before the first half ends. I've got to. That's a really good first touch from success. I'm going to hit this. Saved again by Lloris, and I think that might just be the end of the first half. Pereira wins the tackle, but doesn't keep it. Oh, man. How is it nil-nil? Musonda now up here to success. That's going to be a free kick if I lose it here. But I'm not going to lose it. Coziello now hits it. Oh, you are kidding me. Lloris is 10 out of 10 right now. Oh, that's a good ball. 
It's a good ball. Lamella plays it back to Wanyama. No. 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 Not after all this. Not after all of these chances I've had. You're telling me they're going to go on a counter-attack and just score? This is their second shot of the game. And it goes in. I mean, it's a good finish from Kane. But he's bound to score from there. Why am I giving him so much space... Why am I missing my tackles? And why am I not being clinical and finishing one of these freaking chances I have? Carry on that run. Put that one through. And now again for Musonda. This is good. This is good. Cut in. Go on. Please. Please. No. No, no, no. This isn't happening. Go again. Go again. Yes, success. Come on. Surely now. Surely now. Yes. Come on. Get in there, success. You beast. I need the ball if I'm going to win this. And at the moment, I don't have it. Oh, I've missed. No, no, no. Oh, if that rebound fell to Kane, I would have cried. Oh, come on. Counter-attack. Don't you dare blow the whistle, ref. Don't you dare. Corona is absolutely exhausted. Yeah, he's not going to catch that. Okay, we'll take the draw. It was a very, very tough second half. Tottenham were looking very good, but we did get the equaliser. This team is showing that it can compete with the best in England. And, you know, at this rate, we will be getting Champions League football. And I think we could possibly do okay if we're still at the club, that is. Of course, I'm not saying we can win the Champions League, but I think we could easily get to the knockout stages. And, you know, the Europa League, going out of the Europa League was bad. Like, I know it was a really, really bad, bad game. It was very poorly played by me. But I think if I, if I focused and really went for it, I reckon we could do okay in the Champions League next year. But guys... This is how the table is looking. Spurs go down to fifth. So Liverpool are the new fourth place team. Crystal Palace have climbed above us by two points, but we've got a game in hand. Now, normally I'd be happy about that, but this game in hand is not easy. We have Manchester United, our toughest game of the season. Surely they are top of the league and it's away from home. If we win that game, I will be absolutely over the moon. So watch out for that one. It will be going up tomorrow or the day after. Thank you so much for watching. As you're watching this right now, I'm probably preparing to stream. So if you want to check out me playing Ultimate Team, you can check out the stream. Obviously, just make sure you're subscribed and you will see it in your sub box. But most importantly, follow me on Twitter as well because I'll be announcing it on there. I will see you in the next episode very soon, guys.